from outside they're robotic and not so good looking but once you're inside a full-fledged modern Boeing 777 in 787 cockpit awaits during our time the DC-3 the others is where we started the De Havilland of Canada the Dash 6 all those were conventional but to now we have reached a point where the, you can only make a takeoff, only make a takeoff and give it to the autopilot immediately after takeoff. The airplane will come back, make an approach, land automatically, stop, apply its brakes, stop the aircraft, and that's it. It's, it's in case autopilot and to arc. <laughs> Africa's largest and most profitable airline now owns both of these state-of-the-art flight simulators. Ethiopian Airlines authorities say the new Boeing 777 and 787 flight simulators will provide quick solutions for shortage of pilots the airline is facing at the moment and provide training for other nations of Africa and the Middle East. We have uh... 16 Boeing 777 airplanes and uh, we need around 100 pilots uh, to, to operate this, this airplane. So acquisition of this simulator will help us to train adequate number of pilots. In addition to enabling us to train enough number of our pilots, this simulator will help us to train other pilots from other African and possibly from Middle East airlines. Simulators used to be perceived as toys, but not anymore. 100. This is the latest technology that we can find 50, in the market. And I 40, can tell you that 30, this is really a like, 20, like experience 10. that I have. We're now landing in Hong Kong, China, and I, I hope I'm going to do it, Captain. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Both trainers and piloting students in the Ethiopian Airlines Aviation Academy say the new gadgets are making training delivery easier than any other time in the history of the airline. If you have to do these things in the airplane, you cannot simulate a lot of things. Like you cannot simulate the fire in the airplane, you cannot simulate an engine failure because uh, it could be dangerous to try to do to, to try to land with a failed engine in an airplane. But here we simulate everything. You can do everything right here, including the not normal old kind of emergency that you can sim. So that will give you the confidence, also the time to exercise everything with, that you cannot do in a, a real aircraft. Currently, Ethiopian Airlines operates 13787 Dreamliners and is awaiting the delivery of 12 modern Airbus passenger planes. By modernizing its train delivery system and equipment, Ethiopia's flag carrier wants to repeat success on the skies on the ground too. Groomed Allah CCTV, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.